Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, can you talk about your feelings? You'll be able to with the brand new Feelings PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. You'll learn all the must-know emotions in your target language. Second, if you love to eat, then you'll love this. The brand new Food Words and Phrases PDF eBook. Learn to talk about food with this PDF. Download it for free right now. Third, the 50 most common nouns that all beginners should know. Do you know all of these nouns? If not, this lesson will teach you the 50 must-know nouns fast. Learn them effortlessly with the audio slideshow tool inside. Fourth, learn how to fill out forms in your target language. This one-minute lesson teaches you all of the words you'll see on administrative forms. Fifth, want the best language learning app? Download Innovative Language 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. You'll learn language fast and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just three to 15 minutes long. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to learn the language in six months with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, then get up to 45% off six month premium or premium plus with the six month challenge sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hi everyone, I am Celine from TurkishClass101.com and I'm here with another Turkish lesson. Today, we're going to be talking about top 10 phrases your parents always say. Mm, what they say? Let's learn. Dikkatli ol. Dikkatli ol. Be careful. Dikkatli ol. Be careful. Yes, they always say, right? Especially when you are a child, I think, or baby, because you want to touch everywhere, you want to go everywhere, so they say, Dikkatli ol! Like that. Um, usually mothers say, Sessiz ol. Ses, siz, ol. Be quiet. Sessiz ol. Be quiet. Uh, that's for example, you and your family, your parents went like go somewhere that you have to be actually quiet, like cinema, like theater, right? And then you want to be noisy because you're so excited. That time they can use this word. Sessizol. They say like this. Sessizol. Usludur. Usludur. Behave. I'm sure every Turkish hears this from their parents. Usludur. Usludur. Behave. Usually when you are a child, you want to know everything, you want to go everywhere, you want to explore, right? So sometimes you can make your parents go crazy. And that time, they are kind of tricking you. Like, if you behave well, then I'm going to buy you this. So in Turkish, usually parents are using this trick for their children. They say, they say this, like this kind of sentences, like, um, eğer uslu durursan, sana şeker alacağım. It means, if you behave well, then I'm gonna buy you candy. So it's, eğer uslu durursan, uslu durmak, if you behave well, if you behave, then I'm gonna buy you candy, sana şeker, Alacağım. Ödevini yap. Ödevini yap. Do your homework. Ödevini yap. Ödevini yap. Do your homework. Ah, um, I think I never heard from my parents. I was a <laughs> very smart kid. No. <laughs> Mm, ödevini yap, it's also, yes, a very common, very, very common saying in Turkey. Probably everywhere around the world, no? Like, everyone, every parent, probably they are saying to their kids, just do your homework, and then you can go and play. Üçe kadar sayacağım. Üçe kadar sayacağım. I'm going to count the three. Üçe kadar sayacağım. 
Üçe kadar sayacağım. I'm going to count to three. If you are lying to your parents. And let's say you break something valuable and you're hiding. The time your parents say, Üçe kadar sayacağım. Gerçeği söyle. It's like, I'm going to count to three. Say the truth. <laughs> you break it. <laughs> Dur. Dur. Stop. Dur. Stop. Dur. Stop. Well, these, those parents might be really in trouble, I think. <laughs> this is what I understand from this list. It's, um, yeah, well, not just parents, actually. Everyone is using dur, <laughs> probably. Dur, dur, dur. Like, dur, stop, stop, stop. Ne dedin? Ne dedin? What did you say? Ne dedin? What did you say? Hmm, well, it might be in an angry situation or sometimes maybe your parents just don't hear you because you're speaking very quiet because you did something bad. <laughs> That time, yes, it can be used. They can say, ne dedin? What did you say? Şaka yapmıyorum. Şaka yap mı yo rum I'm not kidding Şaka yapmıyorum Şaka yapmıyorum I'm not kidding So again if you do something bad and if your parents will punish you in return they might they might say like I'm gonna take your cell phone for one week or no television for one week and then they can say Şaka yapmıyorum I'm not kidding like no television Ah, maybe they can say like this in Turkish. Bir hafta televizyon yok. It's like one week, no television. I'm not kidding. Şaka yapmıyorum. Bir hafta televizyon yok. <gülüyor> ben sana ne dedim? Ben sana ne dedim? What did I just say? Ben sana ne dedim? Ben sana ne dedim? What did I just say? I think no matter how old you are, <laughs> when you do some mistake in life and if your parents already warn you, then you will hear the sentence. Ben sana ne dedim? Like, I said you not to go there. Gitme demedim mi? <laughs> Whether you are a kid or a grown up, I'm sure you will hear. Dişlerini fırçaladın mı? Dişlerini Fırçaladın mı? Did you brush your teeth? Dişlerini fırçaladın mı? Did you brush your teeth? It's very important to give the habit to brushing the teeth every day for the kids. It's really important. So this is, yes, a very common phrase for parents to use. Dişlerini fırçaladın mı? Or hemen dişlerini fırçala. Hemen dişlerini fırçala means brush your teeth now. And it's all where you just know 10 top phrases, sentences parents are using in Turkey. But actually, I don't know about you, but it sounds like a bit angry or like nervous situations like. So I want to add my own uh, <laughs> sentences. I will teach you. Parents are also saying, I love you, right? Seni seviyorum. Or they say, you are my everything. Sen benim her şeyimsin. And they all say, say all the time, I am by your side. Ben senin yanındayım. So our parents are really important. I hope you guys uh, know that. I hope you guys love each other so much. I will be waiting for your comments. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. I'll see you next time. Until then, please visit our uh, Turkish website, turkishclass101.com. Hi everybody, I'm Celine and I'm back with another Turkish class. So today's topic is top 10 phrases you'll need for a date in Turkey. Okay, let's start. It's going to be a fun lesson. Benimle yemeğe çıkar mısın? Would you like to go out to a dinner with me? Benimle yemeğe çıkar mısın? 
Benimle yemeğe çıkar mısın? Would you like to go out to a dinner with me? So I don't know the other countries, but usually in Turkey, guys ask to girls to go out to a date. Usually, but I think maybe like recently it's changing, of course. Maybe girls are also asking. But this sentence I usually hear from the guys. But this has to be like, how should I say, maybe you're talking for a long time. Not long time, maybe you knew each other well. You talked before and then maybe you can ask this. Like, don't just say this to anyone you just met or you had crush. Just first, maybe you talk, you know each other, and then you can say, would you like to go out to a dinner with me? And I don't know the answer of the person, but yes. Bu hafta sonu boş musun? Are you free this weekend? Bu hafta sonu boş musun? Bu hafta sonu boş musun? Are you free this weekend? So, if you hear this sentence, Probably you will think, um, this person has some feelings for me. Bu hafta sonu boş musun? So, which means, that person will ask you to go out. So, if you say yes, evet. Bu hafta sonu boşum. Yes, I'm free this weekend. İşim yok. I have nothing special to do. İşim yok. But if you want to reject the person, then... No, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, hayır. Özür dilerim. Özür dilerim. I'm sorry. I have things to do this weekend. Bu hafta sonu işim var. İşim var, which means I have things to do this weekend. Çok sevimlisin. You're so cute. Çok sevimlisin. You're so cute. Çok sevimlisin. Oh, it's so romantic here. <laughs> They usually use it for girls. But I think girls actually use it for guys too. Like if they say something funny or something, you know, like joyful, then girls can also say çok sevimlisin to a guy. We actually have another way to say you're cute. It's çok tatlısın. Girls will probably say like, oh, çok tatlısın ya, like with this tone of voice. To guys, it's just like çok sevimlisin. Uh, almost no difference, I think. Çok sevimlisin, çok tatlısın. It's really like, it's a really nice way to flirt, you know. It's really um, a cute sentence. Harika görünüyorsun. You look great. Harika görünüyorsun. You look great. Harika görünüyorsun. So, it means you met with the person, right? And now you see this person in front of you and maybe you would like to compliment to the dress or to the cloth that person is wearing. So, you can say, Harika görünüyorsun. Or, like, let's say you will say something to your girlfriend. This cloth looks good on you. This dress looks good on you. You can say, Bu elbise sana çok yakışmış. Bu elbise means this dress looks good on you. Sana çok yakışmış. Harika görünüyorsun. Bu elbise sana çok yakışmış. It will be perfect. Çok güzel bir akşam oldu. That was a great evening. Çok güzel bir akşam oldu. Çok güzel bir akşam oldu. That was a great evening. Okay, so the dinner is over. Now you're just, maybe you're just about to separate. Ah, there was a great evening. Then you say, çok güzel bir akşam oldu. And I think it's better to thank the person after you say, çok güzel bir akşam oldu. Just go with, teşekkür ederim. Seni arayacağım. I'll call you. Seni arayacağım. Seni Arayacağım. I'll call you. Well, you can use the sentence, I'll call you, and grammatically it's not wrong. But I think it will sound like you will not call <laughs> that person. So it's better to say the exact time. You can say, I'll call you tomorrow then. So, 
Yarın seni arayacağım. It's better and it will sound like you're really into that person and you really mean to call again. So just say the exact time. Like I'll call you tomorrow morning. I'll call you after I get back to home or whatever. But just say the time. I think it's better. Seni eve bırakayım. I will drive you home. Seni eve bırakayım. Seni eve bırakayım. I'll drive you home. Oh, so you have a car. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow. No, okay. Mm, well, I think it's really kind of you <laughs> to say that. Seni eve bırakayım. Or you can maybe just say, Can I drive you home? Like, you can ask first. So say like this. Seni eve bırakayım mı? Seni eve bırakabilir miyim? Which means, can I drive you home? Like you're asking the permission. Seni eve bırakabilir miyim? Seni eve bırakabilir miyim? It will be more like romantic, I think. So I think in Turkey, usually guys ask uh, in the first date to drive you home. It's very general. It's very... um common like can I drive you home but I'm not sure if the person always accepts it I think it really depends on the person sometimes they do if the date goes well but sometimes they don't but usually you hear the question like can I drive you home seni tekrar görebilir miyim can I see you again seni tekrar görebilir miyim seni tekrar görebilir miyim? Can I see you again? I like that one. That's perfect. It's um not very pushy, not very like full of self-confident, very kind. Can I see you again? Like thank you for tonight. Can I see you again? Seni tekrar görebilir miyim? It's very gentle, I think. Pass from me. <laughs> Başka bir yere gidelim mi? Shall we go somewhere else? Başka bir yere gidelim mi? Başka bir yere gidelim mi? Nereye, nereye gidiyoruz? Ona bağlı tabii ki. Shall, shall we go somewhere else? Where? It depends on where. Mm, so, for example, after your dinner, but your dinner is over, and maybe you would like to walk in the beach after the dinner. Let's say you live somewhere close to beach. And then, shall we go to the beach after our dinner is over? You can ask. But if you just directly say, Başka bir yere gidelim mi? Then probably the person will ask you where, right? It depends on where. So, just be more specific. Like about everything, about time, about the place you go. It will be always better, I think. Burayı nasıl buldun? What do you think of this place? Burayı nasıl buldun? Burayı nasıl buldun? What do you think of this place? Or um, you don't need to say burayı. Nasıl buldun? What do you think? But instead of burayı, if you put the name of the place you go, like restoranı nasıl buldun? What do you think about the restaurant? Sinema. Sinemayı nasıl buldun? It's also fine. So, nasıl buldun? This phrase. You can use it with any anything. So, anywhere you go. You can ask this question. Nasıl buldun? And this is the end. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm sure you're sad too this time. So, I hope to see you guys in the next video. And in the meantime, if you would like to learn Turkish more, Please don't forget to visit our website, turkishclass101.com. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please take care and don't forget to use these phrases if you're trying to date with a Turkish guy or girl. Hello everyone, I'm Selin from turkishclass101.com and I'm back with another Turkish class. Today we're going to be talking about 10 must-know vocabulary for the restaurant. Garson. Garson. Waiter, waitress. 
The first one is garson, waiter or waitress. Bu restoranın garsonları çok nazik. Bu restoranın garsonları çok nazik. The waiters in this restaurant are very kind. So in Turkish, we don't have two different words for waiter or waitress. We just say garson. So the name of the job. If you want to call a boy or girl, I mean the waiter or waitress, you can just say garson. And in Turkish, we call like this usually. Pardon, bakar mısınız? Garson bey, bakar mısınız? It's like, hello, excuse me. Can you look to me? Like that. Yemek. Yemek. To eat. The next one is yemek. To eat. Kırmızı et yemiyorum. Kırmızı et yemiyorum. I don't eat red meat. So it's a very basic word. But it's important to know if you're going to a Turkish restaurant, what if you have an allergy, right? Or what if you're a vegetarian? Then you need to know the eat, to eat word. So you can say you don't eat or you have allergy. Kırmızı et yemiyorum. Or let's say you don't eat egg. Egg is yumurta. Yumurta yemiyorum. If you want to say I am vegetarian in Turkish, you can say like this. Ben vejetaryenim. Ben vejetaryenim. Kırmızı et yemiyorum. I don't eat red meat. Sipariş vermek. Sipariş vermek. To order. Sipariş vermek. To order. Pasta sipariş ettim. Pasta. Sipariş ettim. I ordered a cake. Um, it's very funny actually because I know in English pasta means like macaroni, right? But in Turkish it means cake. So it was always very confusing for me when I was learning English. We are using for describing cake or like a, some kind of sweet, like birthday cake. We are saying pasta. And sipariş etmek means order. You can use it with other foods too. Uh, usually people are ordering pizza to their home, right? You can say pizza sipariş ettim. Or if you want to ask your friend, should we order pizza? Then you can say pizza sipariş edelim mi? Pizza sipariş edelim mi? Su. Su. Water. Su. Water. Bir bardak soğuk su alabilir miyim? Bir bardak soğuk su alabilir miyim? Can I have a glass of cold water? Usually in Turkish restaurants, the water is not free. So you have to pay money for it. And please be careful if you're ordering water because you may thought maybe in your country it's free, but it's not free in Turkey. But in Turkey, in most restaurants, not all of them, in most restaurants, the Turkish tea is free, black tea is free. And it usually comes after your meal. They just bring you or they ask you, should we bring black tea? Should we bring uh, Turkish tea for you? And it's usually free, but I'm not saying for all of them, but most of them. Tatlı. Tatlı. Dessert. Tatlı. Dessert. Bu tatlının yanında bir fincan kahve iyi gider. Bu tatlının yanında bir fincan kahve I, y, g, dash. A cup of coffee would be great with this dessert. Usually in Turkey, 
you know, people like to drink Turkish coffee. And with Turkish coffee, we usually eat whether Turkish delight or recently we started to eat chocolate, like Turkish brand chocolate or any other brand. So in Turkish, we say like this. Türk kahvesinin yanında lokum iyi gider. I said, Turkish delight goes well with Turkish coffee. Chef, chef, chief, chef, chief. Bu restoranın şefi çok yetenekli. Bu restoranın şefi çok yetenekli. This restaurant's chief is very talented. Okay, you've finished your meal in the Turkish restaurant and you really liked it. Now you want to say good words, you want to give good feedback to the restaurant. Then you can use this sentence, right? It's a good sentence to know, I think. Bu restoranın şefi çok yetenekli. Yemekler çok lezzetliydi. It means the food was very delicious. Yemekler çok lezzetliydi. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Çocuklarımın fast food yemesine izin vermem. Çocuklarımın fast food yemesine izin vermem. I don't let my children eat fast food. We are using the English word as it is. Fast food. But our pronunciation is not like English, of course. It's a bit different. It's like fast food. But we have actually other Turkish words. It is rather abur cubur. It's like, it's more like snacks, I think. Abur cubur. Or hazır yiyecekler, which means instant food. Hazır yiyecekler. We are using these two for describing fast food sometimes. Abur cubur. Hazır yiyecekler or fast food as it is. It's also okay. Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant. Bu sokaktaki ev yemekleri restoranına sık sık giderim. Bu sokaktaki ev yemekleri res to ra na sık sık giderim. I go to the homestyle food restaurant on the street very often. I go to the homestyle food restaurant on the street very often. In Turkish, we have this type of restaurant because most people, especially people who live alone, they are missing their mother's food so much right? So that is why there are so many homestyle food restaurants all over Turkey. They are cooking like foods like that reminds you your mother food. Very home-cooked Turkish meals. Not like kebab maybe. Not like Turkish pizza. Really like Turkish food. Hesap. Hesap. Check. Hesap. Check. Hesap lütfen. He sap lut fan. Check please. Do you know how to uh, describe the waiter that you want to check without saying any word? <laughs> so we are using our body language in this case to tell the waiter that we want to pay the check. And it's like this. Now I'm going to show you. He sap lut fan. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> Lezzetli. Lezzetli. Delicious. Lezzetli. Delicious. Çok lezzetli görünüyor. Çok lezzetli görünüyor. It looks very delicious. 
Now your meal is here. It's still hot and it looks really awesome. Then that time you will say, oh, çok lezzetli görünüyor. Mm, I want to eat it. And that's it for today. I think it was a very delicious lesson. So tell me, what kind of food would you like to eat if you go to a Turkish restaurant? I would like to hear in your comments. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you want to learn Turkish, you know what to do. Please visit TurkishClass101.com Hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. You search online for the nearest bus service. What bus service does the page show? What bus service does the page show? The web page shows a free bus service. Ücretsiz otobüs servisi. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.